welcome to my channel today. Today I'm just going to quick show you here um, what I use to strain my leftover drips that I scrape from my table. Um, those are the cones. I get them at like Lowe's or Home Depot uh, in the paint section. And then I just take and I pour my drips that I'm going to be using on my painting into the cone and strain it out. It's got a very fine mesh strainer on it. So um, sometimes when you scrape your table, uh, paint starts drying and so you get like little clumps or um, little bits or just, you know, dust and stuff starts flying around. So I always make sure that I strain them out because I don't like having little chunks and having to pick out little chunks from my paint um, when I'm reusing it. So um, I will show you here in just a second um, why exactly I do that. Um, see there, all the little chunks on that mesh strainer. Um, I don't like those bits in my paint, so I do definitely strain them. So I wanted to just show you guys that um, before I do this painting because this painting that I'm going to be doing, um, my base coat, is all um, drips that I have re am reusing. So this one is kind of like a Payne's gray color. Um, here's the recipe for the colored pearl cells that I use normally. Um, uh, and then this is the white uh, pearl cell recipe. So I am going to be using some white here as well in my base coat. So I'm just going to put these colors down. Um, there's a Payne's gray looking and then there's a bluish gray and a, uh, I'm sorry, a bluish green and a greenish blue. So you'll see the difference in those. Um, and uh, as my puddle color that I'm going to use to stretch over this whole thing, it's just an interference gold. So I didn't add any white or anything else um, for my puddle that I used to stretch over this. It's just the interference gold. So I'm gonna do that, I'll stretch it all out and I'll show you all how I did that. And then um, I am going to do a Dutch pour over top of that. So if you guys have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm always willing to um, help out wherever I can. Um, please leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking about this one. Head over to DJ Fluid Arts, my dad's channel, and uh, check out his newest videos. Um, he's got some smaller ones he's doing right now and uh, framing them, so uh, he gives some good information on that. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to let you guys watch this. Um, and please definitely like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell uh, so that you're notified each time I put out a new video. Oh, I just want to tell you right here, um, I added, I did paint my sides after I added my base coat and it ended up being kind of gloppy so that I had to like <laughs> pick them out, re-add color, so you'll see probably saw that or, or you'll see it. I'm not sure um, if you've already seen it yet. Uh, nope, you haven't because I'm seeing it right now. So that'll happen. You guys will see the glops on the bottom that I'm going to have to pick out and add color to. So, okay. All right. You all have a great day and I will see you on the next one.
I'm just gonna pop in here really quick um, because you see the difference here between that wet result and the dry result. And if you look in that lower area where the interference is over top of the white more down there, it's a very light color of a gold. Um, but when you look at it over top of the darker color, when I head up a little bit, you'll see how much darker that gold dries. So it's kind of neat because depending on the colors that you put it over um, is dependent on how much gold is, is shown and how little gold. But I really like how this one turned out. Um, the big dark cells kind of took over a little bit. Um, and at first I was kind of irritated, but then as I kind of watched it, it, it started to grow on me. And I really, um, I really just started to appreciate, um, just that fluid art is very random, especially working with these pearl cells, it can be very random, but that's okay. I, um, I'm starting to embrace that a little bit more. And when you look at this one farther away, it actually is kind of a little bit of an optical illusion. Oh, also I love that top part of that. It kind of wisped out with the pearls. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna watch, let you watch the rest of this, but I just wanted to kind of uh, talk to you a little bit about this Interference Gold. Um, it is definitely one of my favorite colors to use. Um, and if you haven't used it yet, uh, give it a try. You're, I think you'll love it. So yeah, all right guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye y'all. Thank you.